Hello everybody and welcome to a new year of panning on my channel. My name is Jessica and thank you so much for being here today. I'm filming the introduction for my 2023 Pan Those Eyeshadow series, one of my favorite panning series to do and the first ever panning project that inspired me to create my YouTube channel right here. So thank you to the Pan Those Eyeshadows community and especially Alexi who created this project many years ago. I have loved being a part of it. This is now my third year participating and I'm so excited to get started. I'll go ahead and link my Panda's Eyeshadows playlist right here. So if you haven't seen my previous years of this project and you want to check them out, I have hours of content for you right up here in the corner. I'll also link for you my last finale video for 2022. If you didn't see my finale for 2022, I'll go ahead and update you now. I decided to take a break for the month of December as many people do for this project. However, I decided not to roll out my shades that I was still working on just to put a little pause on those shades and bring them back into the new year. There's three of them and they're really great shades too. So I didn't want to miss out on working on them. Everyone does this project a little bit differently, a little bit in their own way. My method has really been working for me. So I'm going to be sticking with it for 2023. And the way that I go about pan those eyeshadows is I'm always working on five different shades of eyeshadow and hoping to hit pan on them. Of course, that is the ultimate goal. However, if I have it in my project for three months at least, and and I reach for it at least 30 times and I still haven't hit pan after both of those criteria are met then I will roll it out of my project. And this means that I keep these eyeshadows in my project maybe a little bit longer than other people. However, this has been very successful for me as far as hitting pan. And I've been able to hit pan on over 80% of the shades that I bring into this project using this method. So that is what we will be doing. Let's go ahead and get on into these shades. I have three to reintroduce to you and two that we'll be rolling in together today. First, we have a shade from my e.l.f. Jalapeno palette, and it is shade number three. These ones don't really have names, but it's the third shade in the palette, this matte green right here, and it's kind of like an olive -y green. Here it is in a swatch. It's not the most pigmented shadow, but it works well enough. I think the pans in here are pretty shallow, so I don't expect this one being too hard to hit pan on. Here's what it was looking like when I first rolled it in in November. I used this five times during that first month, and here's what it was looking like in December. After those five uses, I had a little bit of a dip on here, but no pan in sight as of yet. So I went ahead and again, put this one on pause for the month of December, but here it is back with us in January. And again, it looks exactly the same. I haven't used it at all in the past month. I've been enjoying reaching for other things in my collection, but I think that if I use this five or six, a couple more times, I should be able to hit pan on this in the next month if I focus on it. So that is the first shade that we will be working on in our Pan Those Eyeshadows project this year. Welcome back, little jalapeno palette. It's so cute and, and adorable. No bigger than a jalapeno itself. Our next shade is from the ColourPop She's a Rainbow palette, and that is the shade Hold Me Down, this metallic purple that I was working on last year. Here's what it was looking like when I first rolled it in, just to refresh you. I used it five times during the month of November, and after those five uses, it was looking like this at my finale in December. I didn't reach for it at all during the month of December, and we are bringing it back again for January. And this one is definitely gonna be a little bit more difficult to hit pan on. I think we're gonna need close to 30 uses maybe 20 something uses to hit pan on this one if we're lucky. And I'm excited to reach back into this because I love this shade of purple. It's a very beautiful purpley pink. Let me swatch it for you, of course. So there is Hold Me Down for you, a beautiful pinky purple shimmer with almost a blue shift in there. I'm really excited to put this on my eyeballs in the coming months. The last shade we are reintroducing is from my ABH Sultry palette and it is the shade Teak, which I have swatched for you right here. I love this metallic bronzy brown, such an easy shade all over the lid and a tone that I've really been enjoying wearing recently. So here's what Teak was looking like when I had first rolled it in in November. I reached for it 11 times during that month and here's what it was looking like at the finale in December with a nice little dip on there. And we are bringing it back in, trying to get a pan on that. I think if I put some effort in, I can hit pan on this during the month of January, no problem. We shall see. As most of you know, I'm sure these shades are very soft and relatively easy to hit pan on. I've been using my finger, so it's taking a little bit longer, but I think that that one will not be difficult at all for me to hit bowl on by the next update. 
I'm ready to roll in those two new shades. I have my Tiny Decisions app pulled up here on my iPad and I have just gone through and updated it with all of my new palettes. I've also removed any palettes that I decluttered and I also removed my two palettes that I'm working on for my Pan That Palette series, which I'll link right here if you wanna check it out. So I'm not gonna include those in my random draw because I'm already reaching for them obviously on a daily basis. So of my 36 palettes total in my collection, I have 34 here in this wheel that I can randomly draw into my project. There's also a section in here for my potted singles and the singles in my Z palette, which each of those count as one category in this wheel. In all of those eyeshadow palettes and single potted eyeshadows, I have a total of 466 eyeshadow pans in my collection. And of those 466 eyeshadows, 56 of them currently have pan in them. So my current pan percentage to start this year is 12.02%, which is not too shabby. However, I am really hoping to amp that up this year. My official goal for my pan percentage that I would like to reach this year is 20%. So that is quite a big jump. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I always like aiming high and seeing how far I can get. I would feel very satisfied to have a percentage of 20% at the end of the year. That percentage is including any pans I hit in my pan that palette. So even though my pan that palette is not included in this wheel here, I am including its eyeshadow pans and any pans I hit in my pan percentage for these updates. And I'll of course let you know on any bonus pans that I hit during the course of the year and include those in my pen percentage each time I update you. Okay, the time has come. Let's roll in these shades and um, get started. All right, so here we go. I'll let you see it. Sorry for the glare, but you know I'm being honest. Oh, wow. My brand new one, the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. And even though I'm sad to roll in a brand new palette into this project, I have already been loving reaching for this on a daily basis. So I might as well try and hit pan on one of those shades while I'm at it. Here is the Rose Quartz palette right here. I just brought this in a few weeks ago and I absolutely love it. I have been reaching for it almost every day and I'm excited to see what shade the Panning Gods have in store for us. Let's go ahead and roll in one of these shades. There are 18 to choose from and some of these are going to be quite similar to things in my Pan That palette, but that's okay. I have so many things in the Pan That palette that I can focus on other shades while I'm focusing on a shade that might be similar to something in that palette, if that makes sense. This one right here is like a cream eyeshadow. I only know what Huda was trying to do with this shade, but I won't be rolling this one in. I don't even know what this thing's supposed to do. It's just like a glitter gel. For your eyelids I guess if you're doing like a very minimal look so that will not be included as a possible shade for me to roll in so with 17 shades eligible I'll put 1 through 17 in my random number generator and see what shade we're rolling in all right I have 1 through 17 in the top there let's see what number we get Okay, number 16. So skipping over Love Stone here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Radiate. A taupey matte shade. I haven't even reached for this shade yet. It's a really kind of a pinky taupe. This will be a really easy shade for me to reach for, and I've been neglecting the mattes in here a little bit since I've been focusing so much on the mattes in my Pan That palette from this last year. So it'll be good to reach for more of the matte shades in this palette and just explore the formula a little bit more, get to know it a little bit better. Here's what that shade is looking like today. I haven't used it at all, maybe once, except for just now reaching for it to swatch it. Here it is on the swatch. It reminds me so much of Bon Fresco from the ABH Modern Renaissance, which I just kicked out of my projects. So that's a little, I don't know, irritating in the slightest bit, but I do love these mauve shades. This will be easy to incorporate on a daily basis, and I'm excited to just have more fun with this palette. It'll be kind of sad to hit a pan on such a new palette. Do you guys have that feeling as well, where you like want to cherish it for a little bit? But I also like the satisfaction of seeing my new palettes that I spent a hefty amount of money on getting used. So that is our first one we're rolling in, starting it off with a fresh bang, that's exciting. Back to our palette wheel, let's see what our next palette is. ColourPop High Society, that's a green palette. Oh goodness, let me grab it. Here is High Society, I was just looking at this palette and thinking it is brand spanking new, a green in January, February is going to be a little tricky, but I do have another green. As you know, we're working on this one, so maybe it'll pair nicely with that. We'll have some fun winter green looks. I don't know. We have five shades to choose from here. 
I would love to get another shimmer. That would probably be my preference, but we'll see what the painting gods have in store. Let's put in the numbers one through five. I have one through five up there. Let's see what number we get. Number one, a shimmery light green. This one right here. I feel like we got the easiest shade possible, which I'm a little bit grateful about. This one's called Diamond Cut. And it's like a very pretty, like sagey metallic green. Let's go ahead and swatch it for you. Oh, it's gonna go so pretty with the shade from the Elf Jalapeno palette. And I haven't worked on one of these shimmers before. I panned a matte in the blue version of this palette and that actually came pretty quickly. I think the pans on here are pretty shallow. So hopefully this won't take me too long and it'll be fun to use. There it is, a very pretty metallic sage green, almost like a minty sage. I think that'll be really fun to work with. And this palette is really beautiful. I'm excited to play with this. I think we have some great possibilities. What a great way to start off this project in the new year. Those are my five shades. I can't wait to play with them. Normally at this time, I would share with you any eyeshadow looks I've created using these eyeshadows over the past month, but I took a nice leisurely break as you know, so I'm not gonna share any looks with you today, but look forward to those in my next updates. I can't wait to do this project again this year and continue to track the pans in my eyeshadow collection, hopefully reaching that percentage of 20% by the end of the year. Wish me luck. Follow along with me. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up so more of these videos come your way. And please say hello in the comments. I love hearing from you. I hope you're doing really well, enjoying your new year, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!